And we're back in the Chronicles of Japanese Murder. Oop, Etienne's getting attacked. We could take our warriors over and help him out, but he gets all the credit for it, so fuck him. He doesn't need our help. He has way more troops than we do anyway. <laughs> so he probably legit does not need... Oh! You can avoid random events like this, but if you're traveling not disguised, you take an honor hit. So... Now you must defend your honor. Let's murder this guy. I thought he was trying to learn from you, not die because of you. Oh, he'll kill your ass. What a jerk. Okay, I think swordsmanship does actually make the AI a little more competent in these fights, as this guy is blocking way more than they were previously. Well, I don't know why it isn't working right now, but the over-the-shoulder attack that I just did there is supposed to do two damage. Maybe because your swordsmanship is such crap. No, I think it's because it was blocking. It's also an unblockable attack, but I'm going to assume that having it blocked blunts the damage. Come on. Take another step over. You're not going to do it, huh? No, I'm not even close enough. <laughs> that time he fell for it. Oof. Incidentally, having an heir take over for you will also lower your stats as your heir starts up at young and you will have most likely been older than that. <laughs> but better than getting a game over. Life is no more lasting than a flower in the spring. Anyways, can I go home now? <laughs> Damn it, Lord Dante. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, if you have very low honor, raising your honor will allow you to hire some more samurai. Not usually a significant amount, but more people are willing to fight for you if you're not a humongous jackass. <laughs> Wow, those guys. Look at that guy in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hair! There is another battlefield for this, aside from castles. You can also fight in a town. You mean... Oh. Those little huts aren't the town? No, those, this is just a giant rice field. That's where they dry the rice. Oh. In the middle of the water, I see. Yes, because that is a good idea. Incidentally, killing guys with your sword in this mode has a pretty high chance of making other people in the fight flee. As opposed to your bows and arrows. Which is kind of a neat effect. They see how badass you are and run away in fear. Man, everybody's just taking tons of hits here. Why don't you head shoot them? Because you can't aim. <laughs> also, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go through these videos afterwards and take a tally of how many uh, people that Lord Ahoy or Hori here has completely has murdered personally, not even counting any war battles that happen. Well, I'm getting the feeling, yeah, we're not gonna catch up to this guy. So, let's go... Why is this house way the hell over there? <laughs> He's so much cooler than everybody else that he has to be on his own. Up in the north, because it's cooler there. I mean, clearly we're never going to catch up to this guy through legitimate means, so... Hmm. Well, now I kind of feel like an asshole. <laughs> hey, why don't you go rescue your family? <laughs> Oof. That didn't oh, think that would hit me. Close battle. They're duking it out. I'm gonna make a liar of myself after I get killed in one of these, and it's gonna be just hilarious. Sad. 
There you go. Oh. At least you're always taking care of your sword. Yeah. I don't like the look of that guy. But we're better than him. Anyways, at this point, you could go try and kill your... kill Lord Date, but that... is not the best idea. Also, you're gonna have to deal with this kind of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself. Basically, never leave your house. <laughs> Because these people are going to start trying to kill you in your sleep or do things while you're not there, and that's... If you're not there, they can get caught, but more likely than not, they will get away with whatever they are doing, and you will take an honor hit, and it will suck. So I'll just make a complete and utter fool of my Kenjutsu instructor. For a while. Not gonna train your troops? I should probably do that, too. Yeah, I got the same level in both, so... Train. Train the troops. This is not a good battlefield. Yeah. I could, like, bait the guys into turning to one side, but these training battles literally don't matter, so... Let's just let them charge face first into each other and see who wins. I can almost guarantee you it will not be me. Attacking off of hills in the river is not... A good idea. Yeah. Huh? Let's see if I can... Not gonna be able to catch them while they're still got their backs to us because of the terrible terrain. <laughs> this game does take flanking into account. Hitting guys from the side or the rear does do more damage. Yeah, not gonna be me. Oh no! They had the benefit of the trees. I don't think it actually affects the uh, fight at all. Aside from you can't see guys in it. But, you still do learn a little bit. Let's murder the sword man again. I guess I could go murder that guy's heir and, uh... Just further cement... First place. But while I've got people trying to bri trying to blackmail me into doing shit for them, I, uh... Way. Yeah. Let's go murder those guys. Gotta get that kill count number up. See what sort of terrible thing happens while I'm out. Blah, blah, blah. Guard your family carefully. Yada, yada. Go away. <laughs> He's after your child, daughter. Well, luckily he's after my heir. Whoa, look at all those spearmen. I would say this mode is the most deadly one out of all the parts of the game, but uh, as long as you actually pay attention to, your, to what's around you, it's not too bad. It's really easy to let that one that one guy with the arrows uh, walk up on the side and not notice him standing there, or not notice that your shot didn't quite kill that dude. Well, there's another thirty or so people dead, I think. Fertilizing the rice. There's still somebody walking around. Where are they? There you are. 
Coward. <laughs> Come out and die like a man. Mess with the best, die like the rest. Satisfactory honor. Ooh. Okay, let's see if we can get back home before something obnoxious happens. Walk. What does donating to the temple do? It gives you honor in exchange for land. Ah. Which, since you can get honor in so many ways, is generally not a good deal, because then you can have less troops. Because your land is gone and yeah. you cannot support them. Yep. Gotcha. Uh. Nope, nope, they got him. I was going to turn number one around there and... Uh, Flank the other and one. have him help out, but... Flee, cowards. What are we doing here? This is about the point where I start tending to get antsy and decide to try and kill my lord and then get murdered to death. So I'm trying to avoid that. Patience. It is a virtue. If it starts getting too ridiculous, I might do it and I'll probably end up ending the LP since I'll more than likely fail. <laughs> Can failure, even if you survive the failure initially in assassinating your lord, get your whole family killed. Oh no. So even if you have an heir, game over. Oop, he got busted by uh, invaders. Okay, who's in second? Tadahiro. Let's go visit Tadahiro. He's starting to build up troops, and that's making me nervous. Bug crawl across the world. Does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Yeah, get out of here. I killed your dad, and I'll kill you too. First name unknown, Ahori. Murderer <laughs> of... Ender of family lines. <laughs> I like to think this is just how day-to-day -day visits went in Japan. Show up at your friend's house. Have some tea. Kill each other. Yeah. Casually insult their mothers. Fight to the death. Then you have to get new friends. <laughs> Should, yeah. That administrator probably won't do anything of value. So let's do this again. Ooh, the uh, little blue, kind of starbursty looking things are marshes. Marsh? They are something you really don't want to be fighting in. <laughs> Luckily, those guys aren't moving. So you won't get caught in them. Instantly, there are more than just spearmen troops, but you ha you you can't decide what kind of troops you have in your army. Depending on how many troops you have total is what units will be on the field. <laughs> there are also uh, arbalesker units, cavalry, and archers. So you're just not good enough for anything else. Yeah, you don't really see a lot of those unless you either have a lot of land or until the end game. You're getting better at this drill thing. Once you become Daimyo, you start getting up to troop numbers that are pretty hilarious. Yep. Incidentally, the other nice thing about training your swordsmanship up this way rather than going and murdering all of your uh, rivals is that if you happen, if you manage to actually lose. <laughs> You don't die in a training fight. Whereas if you lose in an actual fight, you will probably die. <laughs> Not always, though. But if you kill your opponent, they always die, huh? Yeah. 
That's not fair. How old are we now? Young adult, we're still okay. Who do we have as an enemy here? Someone in the Vesugi clan? Well, there are people threatening me, they don't threatening me though, so I don't really want to go walking off with my troops and leaving my house unguarded. <laughs> I'm getting bored, though, so let's go start the pot a little more. <laughs> what a jerk you are. Well, it's either that or just constantly drilling my troops, which is incredibly uninteresting. No, he's not here. <laughs> so, what's the little triangles up in the mountains? Uh... When we're back on the map, ask again, because that could mean a couple of things. But I'm pretty sure you need to step on those and press the uh, action button to move to another province. Which, at this stage, there is not a whole lot of point in doing, aside from that yellow one that we saw on the map. Because there's nothing to do in any other province aside from that yellow one where you can attack your lord's rival. For fun and profit. But since I'm so shitty at generaling, that would just lead to, uh, nothing good. Kill the archer. Woo. Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. There's no rabbit. No, there's no rabbit. There's a spearman, though. Well, there used to be one. Kill the swordsman, kill the swordsman. Look at that guy run. Get back here. Kill the archer. Yeah, that one is dead. Commendable honor. Okay, I feel like I've been out of my house too long now. Not the pointy arrows, the uh, house arrows. Oh, those are villages which you can't really do anything with. <laughs> Very large force will kick my ass. Did he just try to marry your child daughter? No, the other one. Child's daughters are off limits. <laughs> they have to be at least young. I have more honor than him, though, so I'll be giving him a boost, so I had to tell him to go away. <laughs> uh. Anyways, this is basically the assassin event, except different background. Also, this guy is generally a little more competent with his sword fighting than the assassins are. I have been killed by these guys a few times. And for the most part, if you just keep flailing like an idiot, they will eventually try to move and you will get your hits in. <laughs> just max that honor on out. Who's here? Yukinaga. Ooh, you're in second place. Now you're probably not. Oh. <laughs> he knows how many people I've killed. <laughs> <laughs> Alone. Yeah, let's do one more troop drill, and then I'm going to call it a video again. Oh, they're coming to me. Ooh, ha -ha. I apologize for the very fast pace of the first part of this and the now basically dead stop, but that's the way this game goes sometimes. If you're not feeling confident enough to go assassinating, <laughs> you just gotta wait it out. <laughs> Why don't you let your men chase him? No point. <laughs> there was no way that would catch up to him. 
kind of surprised nobody's actually tried to attack me yet. Anyways, I'm gonna break the video here, and I think we can do one more. And then call it. See if something happens. So, one moment.